In the notes I tell you that I don't like the white test for heteroskedasticity, but let's make sure that we know how to uh, perform it just in case uh, we would want to. We're going to modify our task under statistics we're going to pick heteroskedasticity test. This is going to give us the white test. Hit run. The white test is going to pop up just below our parameter estimates. And there we go, we've got our, our white test here. It's telling us that there is no heteroskedasticity that it can detect. We've got a p-value of 16%. That's outside the rejection region of below 5%. So we would conclude based on this that we don't have evidence of heteroskedasticity. Uh, what I find generally with the white test is that when the number of observations is relatively small, the white test can't find heteroskedasticity even when it's fairly obvious. Uh, so I, I tend not to trust it very much, but there we go, that's how you could find it if you wanted it.